What's up guys? Today I want to review this Gayscano Squonker box. Nice little Squonker. You can buy it on e -Siggity. It's in their clearance area. <clears throat> and I just picked it up because around 20 bucks I can play around with a Squonker. So let's go ahead and dive into this and give me some of my thoughts. Gayscano, 50 watt squawker box. Um, correction, $29.99 at e -Siggity. It's a 50 watt box mod, squawker box mod by Yi Lung. Y-I-L-O-O-N-G. Hope I'm pronouncing that right. You know. Comes in black. Comes in the silver. And it comes in blue. Um, the black on the front has a Guy Scano 50 watt emblem. This one's nice. It doesn't have any markings except for on the bottom where it says Geiscano. Now, Geiscano, I heard, <clears throat> is a combination of two words of geyser and volcano. So, there you have it. Um, inside the box, you have one 18650 and one 13 mil juice bottle with the bottom feeding pin. Um, I, myself, would stay below that 13 mil because you're going to have a hard time Putting this back in with 13 mils of juice in there. Um, speaking of juice, <clears throat> it's really easy. Um, all you have to do, pull this little, um, it's kind of like a battery kit, uh, ribbon. Pulls out, pulls out like this. I'm not going to do it, but you can unscrew it here. Or you can take it, take the feed all the way down um, from that pin. Take the whole bottle out. Um, I myself, um... Leave the pin in there, unscrew the bottle, just put a little bit of juice in there. Like I said, I'm playing around with this. I'm um, just going to see if squonking is something that I would like to do. Uh, 18650, uh, kind of clean in there. Um, the uh, door panel, got to mention this, it's a con. Um, as you can see, one of those uh, magnets has a little bit of smush around it. I still got a little bit of glue. I had to re-glue this uh, magnet in there. Uh, when it came, uh, the magnet fell out of the door when I used it. Um, not a big deal, but it's 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 con, so I gotta put it. It's not a uh, high dollar box, so I'm not expecting the world. Um, nice thing, slides in. Um, These battery straps sometimes are a little bit long. They can get in the way, but you can tuck them up uh, if they're causing an issue. But um, nice slides up and magnets stay on. No real thing. There's a little bit of battle rattle, uh, button rattle. But once again, not a high dollar item. Not really going to be concerned about it. Now, if I was paying $74.99, like the original price they have listed, I wouldn't want any of that. Um, it is 50 watts. Um, let me give you a look at the screen. I will turn off auto focus here and do a little bit of manual ma magic here. Let's see here. So it's a pretty bright screen. Um, You got your battery level, you got your your ohms, it's got readout when you hit the button, you can see how many bolts you're putting through. And <clears throat> this does, uh, as you can see, goes. Um, the watts go by 0 0.1 increments. They do round robin, it goes from 5 watts up to 50 watts. And as you can see all right so I've been playing around with this 
turn my autofocus back on. Um, playing around with this simple board, simple battery. Um, the uh, door stays on there. Thing I want to mention is this RDA that comes with it. Okay, this is not the drip tap that comes with it. This is the Hawkin drip tip that comes with it. As you can see, matchy matchy all around. Um, what's weird is it's got airflow control there. It's one of those where you unscrew this part, this goes around, you can adjust your airflow. Here it is, uh, you know, about halfway closed off. That's why I usually run it. Um, we're thinking about it, it only has the one airflow. But this has a three post deck. Let me uh, focus in on that. Three post deck. But with one airflow, you can only do the single coil option. At least it, you could do a dual coil on it, but it really makes no sense. All right, so this bottom feed. So you hit that squawker and juice comes out as you can see there i'm not really going to do too much uh showing of that because like i said i don't have my up closey camera sorry about the autofocus there i'm back hi um not gonna do too much up close with the squawking if you want to see how squawk works uh, check out another video um this one center pin has two little holes and you make sure that your wicks around this push the button right here in there and hold it and juice goes up out those holes hit your your cotton and it saturates your cotton your wicks and you're ready to go um, you don't you don't push on it like this you push and hold for a good couple about one one and a half two seconds and then release and if you're watching it take this off and you watch it you'll be able to see what's going on I have a 1.1 um, ohm build on here single coil um, run about well let's just do this 50 watts um, show you what it does Vapor production is not really there. I hate this drip tip. Um, really dislike it. It's way too big. Um, a nice thing about it is it allows you to do any of your 510 drip tips. So I put this one on. Cheap plastic one that I have laying around. Um, you want to make sure that you are squonking every couple pulls. That way you're not getting a dry hit. There's nothing to see here, uh, so you can see to make sure that your coils are, are wicked, uh, are wet. Um, the flavor is just not there on this, this RDA. You get some decent vapor production off of it, but, you know, if you're wicking it, making your coils right, you're going to get vapor production off of this RDA type setup um, but the flavor is not there um, I have some very strong uh, mitten vapor sticky buns which is like a cinnamon roll flavor on it normally I the cinnamon is too strong but in this that's how I'm getting flavor so the RDA is kind of a con in this um, they do have lost the pin on ECD, uh, bottom fill pin, 510 replacement that you can do. Thinking about grabbing that, see how dual coil action would act, help, um, especially with that glass cap on there. Um, it's not bad. Um, the weird thing I have noticed also with this, you put it down for a little bit, pick it up. Sometimes it's got that thing where you will pick it up in the 
you'll have to hit it a couple times before it, it goes out of wake up mode. There's really no settings in here to uh, set that. Uh, other thing is that the it's always constantly changing. You can't see that, but just take my word for it. It's constantly changing with the your your um, it, it doesn't. There's really no way to lock in the resistance with this. Not a lot of information in the manual as well. Um, overall, it, it the pros on it. Nice clean box works. You know the magnets work. The internals are nice and clean. Um, the bottle doesn't leak. You don't have any weirdness there. Um, the connection up here doesn't leak. You, you really can't see any any juice just hanging there. So it's a it's a nice clean device. It does what it does. Uh, you know I put this RDA on unlike my Segeli 150. Ran at 50 watts, has the same performance. So the box itself is good. It's just the RDA that they put in this kit really lets you down. Um, those are my cons. The uh, con is, uh, you know, single airflow, three post design. I would like to put dual coils in here and see what it did with that. Um, I think the play rule would have been better. Um, con, the magnet falling out on me not a big deal a little bit of a uh, little bit of epoxy put that back in there um outside i'm i'm glad i bought it at 29.99 not glad that i would have bought it at 75 dollars if i was just seeing it um i probably after this if i want to continue with squawking i would go for like an m vapes box uh over in the uk and they make some beautiful work there um Overall, uh, I would not buy this again. I would suggest it to a friend if they really want a cheap uh, way to experience squawking. Um, kind of see how the internals work out and stuff. But I would really suggest them getting a better RDA. I think that pretty much sums it up. Um, come on over to my Vaporium. Um, social network for vapors like us um, join some advocacy groups uh, Kaza uh, not blowing smoke I'll put the links in, in down below like I always do um, check out some great uh, local um, my vaporium locals um, Aegis too fluent vapors uh, at each ogre 100 percent of their profits goes to not blowing smoke uh, Dory e-liquid e um, as you can see, I love it. It's great. Caramel apple crisp, uh, caramel de leche, uh, and that hazy custard. Oh, it's great. So, uh, if you like what you've seen, like, comment, subscribe, uh, ask any questions. If you want to see me uh, buy that, uh, that 510 pin for my velocity and give that a shot in this box, I may have to uh, shoot a video of that, see if it's actually the box that's different. Um, but for after that, outside of that, uh, remember, life is effing awesome as long as you're not smoking. And until next time, squawk. You take it easy.